Update. AITA for yelling at my husband because he scared me? Original post. HTTPS. www.reddit.com slash r slash amethyushole slash comments slash w5 mnum slash ita for yelling at my husband because has cared slash? UTM medium equals Android app and UTM source equals share. Thank you all for your comments on my last post. They really helped me sort things out. He still wasn't talking to me after three days so I confronted my husband. I told him that I hoped that he really meant the best but it actually made me lose trust in him. So I don't know if I'm going to be able to trust him for a little while. He brushed it off. Rolling his eyes and saying it wasn't that big of a deal. I simply replied that it was a big deal for me and I know that my trauma may be annoying to him. Hut that didn't give him the right to do that. Afterwards he reluctantly agreed when I asked for marriage counseling. I told my psychologist about what he did and she was horrified and suggested marriage therapy. Unfortunately. Each time it was time for our appointment he would make some kind of excuse not to go. He was staying late at work. There were no groceries so he had to go shopping. And I grew frustrated. I asked him if he really wanted to make things work and he didn't answer straight away. He said that he was only trying to help and by making him seem the bully that I wasn't appreciate of him and all the things he had to accommodate for my antics. That was the last straw. I placed my wedding ring on the table and left. So now I'm staying at a friend's house and I'm in contact with a lawyer. I'm forever thankful to you. Reddit for all your kind words. I don't know what to do at the moment as he has set my progress back a lot. But I think eventually I'll be okay. And now. I'm surrounded by people who care about me and don't think of my trauma as annoying. Edit. Thank you all for your lovely messages. I would love to reply to all of them but it's getting quite late. I'll definitely reply to as many as I can tomorrow. I cannot thank you all enough for giving me the strength to help myself and reminding myself that my trauma is not annoying and shouldn't be seen as antics. Edit 2. Thank you so much strangers for the awards. Smiley face. You did the right thing up. I'm proud of you. Good for you. I know this has to be painful the realization that your spouse is not the right person for you. Usually is. But I read your story and remember the first time my partner was exposed to me reacting to a trauma. Trigger. They got really calm and treated me like I was a freaked out kitten. Nothing but gentleness and acceptance in their eyes. A handout when I was ready to take it. And plenty of space for me to not feel trapped. They were perfect. And my wish for you is that you find your version of that someday. Trauma responses are not antics. One of the main hallmarks are predictors for couples heading toward divorce. I read a while back. Is contempt. And the way your husband treats you sounds properly contemptuous. You have an issue that you're working on. You're doing all you can. The fact he pulled that lighter stunt shows how much empathy he has for you. You're better off to leave. You are incredibly strong and smart. Congrats for choosing to love yourself. Anyone you choose to be with should move mountains to honor every part of you. Even the annoying ones. Here's to the start of great things. Oh, wow. Glad you're getting away from that. Dude doesn't even care. Am I the only one who hates clowns that think shoving a trauma trigger in someone's face is exposure therapy? I'm no therapist, but I assumed real exposure therapy was gradual exposure to something while in a supportive environment so you learn it's not as scary as it seems. Good on you. I didn't read your first post at the time and thought this was an update on the one where the husband came home early from a trip and scared his wife by sneaking into the house in the middle of the night and grabbing her from behind when she walked through the dark and supposedly empty locked house. That was bad enough. A stupid prank gone wrong. 
This was so much worse. Downright malicious. You did the right thing. Congrats. Op. On being able to see your soon-to-be ex-husband for the person he really is. Marginalizing your trauma went beyond the pale. Calling your reactions, antics, in an attempt to downplay his atrocious behavior is not acceptable. In a life partner, his being but hurt that you got made simply put the nail in the coffin. I sincerely hope you can find a real gentleman who will understand that it can take years, perhaps even a lifetime, to get over a trauma. You ex-husband is not learning it is not wise to play with fire. Wishing you peace and a long life. Some might say it is a small issue, but in the end it revealed a lot more. Has he even bothered to try and contact you after you left? If not, then you have made absolutely the right decision. If he has and he is still blaming you, then you have made the right decision. Never allow yourself or your trauma to be disrespected. That is your privilege alone. And it seems you will be respecting yourself a lot more than he respects you. You made the right decision. What he did was horrible. It was driven by selfishness and he refused to recognize the harm he did and to take responsibility. For his actions. Had I been in your shoes. I would not even have given him the chance for marriage counseling. He got this second chance from you and decided not to take it. I am proud of you for standing up for yourself and leaving him. He might have thrown you back temporarily. But in the long run you will be better off without someone around you who neither understands what trauma means nor is willing to help you heal in a healthy way. Surround yourself with people who really care about you. Just read your prior post so he wants to do exposure therapy on your but wouldn't go to an actual therapist? What a joke. Exposure therapy is a great idea. But it only works when you voluntarily choose to face your fears in a controlled and escalating way. If he'd cared about you, he would have done enough research to understand that. Husband bullies wife. Wife is offended. Husband. Geez you just lose to make the the bully don't you? Damn I'm so sorry. I have the exact same phobia. Not only flames but anything hot. In my past relationship there was a similar case. My ex went towards me with a hot pan. While I was shrinking into the corner and begging her not to come closer. She didn't intend to hurt me. Not physically. I mean. But definitely psychologically. My current partner is so gentle with anything hot near me. She remembers it at all times. Though I only told her like a couple times about it. She pours my hot tea for me. I never even asked her to do this. She just tells me. Well I know you don't like it. But it's okay for me. And omg. I can't even believe I get to be with someone who respects me and cares about me that much. But I do. And now I owe to myself to expect nothing less. And I wish the same thing to you. Your phobia is a serious thing. It's not annoying. It's absolutely normal and you deserve respect. Well done for moving out. That man sounds horrible. Wow he sucks. I went back and read the other post I can't believe he tried this over being annoyed at your phobia. I mean I have heard of exposure therapy too but that doesn't give me license to practice it. I'm sorry he ended y'all's marriage over something that was literally not even hurting him. You deserve better. Info. How did your husband react when you left the house returning your wedding ring? Did he at least try to call? You are not a burden and you are not defined by your trauma. So proud of you. Good on you. You didn't make him out to be a bully. You set a boundary. Also. Antics? He referred to a trauma response as antics. He sounds atrociously unempathetic and cruel. You deserve better. I wish you all the best in your recovery. Your original post was 13 days ago. 
How did you have time to wait three days before talking? Then go to your therapist. Find a marriage counselor. Make and miss several appointments. Move out. Find a lawyer and get far enough in the process to be finalizing divorce papers. All in 13 days? Dear Reddit stranger, I am proud of you. Love, another Reddit stranger. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epic Heracast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.